about nine months when I met a, a really special girl named Samantha, and um, I'm going to read two scenes. The first is where I meet Sam. I met her right around Thanksgiving, sitting alone in the cafeteria, this thin, rangy white girl with a shaggy mop of brown hair, a grunge butch affect, and a cast on her hand, cheerfully shoveling meatloaf and mashed potatoes into her mouth. I hadn't seen her the week before. She was probably new, probably in need of somebody to have dinner with. Can I join you, I asked, motioning towards the empty seat across from her. She continued chewing, eyebrows slightly raised, and signaled a welcome with her busted hand. I sat. How's that doing, I asked, pointing to the cast. She waved the hand, so-so, and swallowed. It hurts a lot. I snapped a ligament in my wrist. I have to go to surgery before I can go to rehab. Ouch, I said, wincing. How'd it happen? Punched a wall. She grinned a little. I thought it was just sheetrock, but it turned out to be concrete. She had a hint of a West Coast accent or something. I couldn't exactly place it. And there was a frankness in her voice, something knowing and wry. The way she said it, rehab. So matter of fact, with no dread, no shame, she might as well have said, I have to have surgery before I can go to the bank. Rehab was just a place she had to go. And she met my eyes easily, her own eyes, large and clear. Most of the girls avoided eye contact. That's why bringing beads every week was such a handy trick. They didn't have to be looking at anybody while they talked. They could look at their hands. But this girl looked at me like she was studying me, memorizing me, and unafraid to have me do the same. You gotta be careful about punching unfamiliar walls, I cautioned, smiling. Apparently, some of them punch back. <laughs> she raised the wrist as proof that I was right. When I was a kid, my dad used to punch out all the windows, then he'd put boards over them, and then he'd punch out the boards. Sounds like a great dad. She smiled with one side of her mouth, eyes still on mine. I felt that instant rapport, that excitement, new favorite alert. <laughs> In truth, I never chose any of my favorites. My favorites were the ones who chose me, the ones who acted like they'd just been waiting for me to sit down next to them so they could spill their stories. I don't tell anybody this, but I trust you, miss. And maybe they 